Hi everyone, this is Gabriela Martinez from the MySQL Windows Experience team at Oracle. In this video, I will show you how to use MySQL for Visual Studio to export your MySQL databases. For those who might not be familiar with this product, MySQL for Visual Studio is a plugin that integrates into Microsoft Visual Studio and provides editing and debugging capabilities with MySQL databases. One of the features of this product is the Database Export tool. This tool can be used to create a snapshot script that contains all the existing database objects and optionally the data as well. The performance of this tool is the same as fast as you directly would use the MySQL DOM command line, but a lot more friendly and right into the Visual Studio environment. The first step in order to create a database export script is by adding a new MySQL connection at the Server Explorer window of Visual Studio. This window can be shown by clicking on the menu view and then select the Server Explorer option. Click on the Connect to Database button in order to create a new connection. Select the MySQL database as source for the new connection, then enter the appropriate connection parameters on the Add Connection window. If you need to change any of the parameters or select some special settings, click on the Advanced button in order to set up all of them. Also, take into account that the user of the connection should have at least the select permission to perform this operation. Once the connection was successfully added to the Server Explorer window, the Data Export option can be accessed by opening the contextual menu of this node. After clicking on my SQL Data Export tool, a new tab window will be opened. This window contains the databases with their existing objects, besides all necessary options for making a customized export script. The first step is selecting the databases, tables, and views to be included on the export script. Then select the path name for the new file to save this export script. The default path where the file will be saved is at the My Documents folder of the current Windows user. There are several options that can be used to customize the script, like Skip Table Data, include store procedures, or use a single transaction. To view more options that can be used to customize the script, click on the Advanced button. This window shows all the available options for the export operation. Once all the configurations have been selected, click on Start Export so the dump of the database is performed. A log of the operation will be shown in the General Output window of Visual Studio. If there are any errors, these will be shown as well in this output. Once the export operation is completed, the script can be opened and executed on a MySQL server by using the MySQL script window. To open this window, click on the Open option of the File menu and select the path where the export script was saved. Then select the correct file. In this example, I will drop the previous database in order to create the same database, but now using the DOM file that we just created. Now on the window of the top script, click on Connect to MySQL and provide the parameters that will be used to make the connection to the server where the script will be executed. Then click on Run SQL so the database is generated. After running the script, the new database is available on the existing connection in the Server Explorer window. All the selected settings, databases, and objects used in the export operation can be saved optionally for a later use on a settings file. To specify the path to be used to save the settings file, 
Click on the Store Settings button and select a convenient path for your file. Once the settings file is saved, it's possible to load these settings by clicking on the Load Settings button. Then select a previously saved settings file. Now you can see how the databases, objects and settings are selected based on the saved settings. Every time for your MySQL databases can be done quickly and easily by using this tool. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you have found this tutorial useful. If you have any questions or comments, you can post them on our forums or even create a full report.